So you have a map of Jerusalem in your book mm. that actually shows yes. what God says in Solomon in 2 Chronicles 7, 12, and 16. I have chosen and consecrated this temple in Jerusalem so that my name may be there forever. My name and my heart will always be there. How did you discover this? Yeah, there's, there's two places in the scriptures where God says he's placed his name on the land forever. And there's one is in Shiloh where the Ark of the Covenant sat yes. with Samuel and that whole, the whole story. That's one of the promises. Mm -hmm. And the second is in Jerusalem. Now, the, the 21st letter of the Hebrew alphabet is pronounced Sheen. Sheen. And it's uh, that uh, the, the, it the the picture that's the sheen. that's the sheen. Now in Jewish tradition, this represents the, the one of the names of God, El Shaddai. And so this image you'll see on uh, on uh, mezuzahs, which are the little boxes that are that are hung on, on the on the homes of, yes. of Jewish uh, Jewish homes. Yes. Uh, on the phylacteries of uh, people that are praying, which is the little box. Sometimes you'll see Orthodox Jews praying at the wall. They'll have a little box. So true. And so, I was wondering what those were. Right. You, exactly. That's so, good. So what that is? That's uh, when the Bible talks about taking the Word of God and putting it between your eyes, or you know, putting it on the doorpost. These are very practical applications in Jewish tradition that have been done. Right. And so also, and and for those of you that might be watching that are Star Trek lovers, <laughs> when uh, when high priests would pray the ironic blessing, mm -hmm. they would hold their hands like, like this. this. Yes. In, and that's the shape of the sheen because it was is the blessing of the name of God. And that's so, what Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, every time he's here, if you right. notice, yes. he always prays like that, doesn't he, everybody? Yeah. I right. mean, and, that's, those and, that's, and that's a traditional thing. And, yeah. and the reason why that is is because that is the shape of the, of the 21st letter. Now, for those of you that are interested in sort of numerology, uh, 21 is seven three times, seven, seven, seven. So that's a, a, a significant yeah. thing that's connected to the name of God. But Star Trek fans would know that from, from Spock. That's true. <laughs> but, and, and this is a completely different story, but yeah. you can go online and you can find stories of Lem Leonard Nimoy, the, the yeah. man who played Spock, mm -hmm. talking about ra being raised in a Jewish home and, and watching rabbis at an early age giving the the ironic blessing oh, by doing this, and that's where the idea came from that was then tied I in. I never knew yeah, that. It's amazing. I was never a Star Trek fan. My brothers were. Well, I was but, more you know. Star Wars myself rather than Star <laughs> Trek. But but uh, but for those of you that are interested, that's where yeah, that comes that's from. Yeah, that's interesting. And so so that is a it's a significant letter in Judaism now. When you're looking at an aerial shot, and I have this in the book as well, and mm -hmm. it's not an aerial location. This is a, a an old photo of a topographical map of Jerusalem, okay. and so it's just the land. So the actual old city is not on it, mm -hmm. and that's a that's a, a great illustration as well. But what you're looking at, if you're looking at at the valleys mm -hmm. is the shape of a sheen. And so when ah. God says in the scriptures, oh, my. I have put my wow. name there forever. Mm -hmm. If you're looking from an aerial photo, if you're looking sort of God's eye you know, view, looking down on the city of Jerusalem, you're literally looking at a sheen that, that represents in Jewish history, mm -hmm. the name of God that's literally placed within the hills of wow. Jerusalem.